You know where to wait. Stay out of sight. Don't let Sesame see you. <laughs> hey! Hey, Jackson! Some other night, but you not You said that no, every no, no, no. night for a week, Teddy, and then you run away and leave me, and the next day rave about how wonderful that court singer was. Who yeah, was. but now if you go back to Hollywood, I'll send you I some don't want to go back to Hollywood. I want to gamble like you promised me I could. So if you'll give me five hundred dollars. <laughs> only got all that time. You are singing like a million tonight. I never sang worse in my life. Hey, what's the matter? Oh, I don't know. Just tired, I guess. Oh, we'll give ourselves a vacation one of these days. I've heard you say that before. It won't be long now with money coming in like it is. Yeah. Come on now. Cheer up. Can I help it if business is good? Say, don't you ever get tired? That's just my way of showing how much I love you. Oh, that's better. <laughs> Run along now, won't you, Phil? I want to rest before I go on again. I adore looking at you, darling. Sometimes I almost believe you. You have the sweetest ways of calling me a liar. <laughs> All right, sweet. We'll get away next week, sure. I'll bet you 100. And then I'll 
find back all that I lost, plus the extra hundred that I win. <laughs> well, of course I'll win, because last night I saw the moon over my right shoulder, and that's a certain sign of good luck. Well, not that I'm superstitious, but my Uncle Peter once had a dream that he won, and the next day he, he shot himself in the excitement. Oh. You're practically dying. It's only my professional pride keeps me going, Torchy. That's right, Maggie. The show must go on. The show is on. And I got something for you. A note. Here, here. That's the note the Rendon Millions gave me to give you this note. See, the eyes are giving out on me just like the dogs. I'll have to get glasses for them. The dog? No, the eyes. Well, he's persistent. I'll say that for him. And not bad looking. Oh, I don't know. Say, a wax dummy with half his dough would look like Clark Gable to me. You say no to the opportunity of a lifetime, and yes to a guy like Phil Carita. <laughs> I don't get you at all. I don't get myself. The way Phil dizzies around with every good-looking flicker he sees gives me a pain. And it ain't my feet, either. You know, if I had your face and figure, I wouldn't waste my time torching on a skiff like this. And what would you do, Mr. Bones, if you uh, had my face and figure? Grab myself a millionaire. Well, maybe I will. Just as I've always told you, did eh? You've got what the chiropodists call poise. <laughs> I got bunions. The answer is still no. Oh. You know, you know, if, 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 I, if I had you, I'd, I'd, I'd take you to Paris. <laughs> yes, but you haven't got me. A uh, Rinda never takes no for an answer. Yes, so you said in your note. Oh, come on. Let's, let's get serious, huh? Let, let's, let's get off of this boat and go places and do things, huh? You know, big things, everything. Say, I'll tell you. I'll, I'll take you back to New York with me. It was Paris a minute ago. Oh, I, I, I mean it. I, I, I'm, I'm crazy about you. You're drunk. Sure, I'm drunk. I'm, I'm always drunk. But I'm crazy about you just the same. Oh, come on. Give us a little kiss, will you? Uh, just, just a little. You'd better sit down before you fall down. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's a good idea. Gee. Gee, but you're good to look at. 
Well, haven't you ever seen a blonde before? Yeah, a million. Yeah, but no, uh, no, never anybody like you. Oh, come on, say, say yes, huh? I, I, I got lots of money. All, all the money in the world. Yeah, and I, I, I could make you happy, too. Yeah, you could, you could make me happy. I wonder what you'd be like, sober. Say, say, I'll, I'll, I'll try it. I'll, 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 I'll try anything for you. But would you, would you say yes? Oh, now you're starting that again. Oh, come on. Uh, give, give him No. No. I believe you mean no. Yes, I mean no. Yes, you mean no. No, you mean yes. Oh, darling. Hey, Torchy, you're on. Oh, pardon me. Well, happy landing. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll be waiting for you, Gordon. Don't you be here when I get back. All right. Sure. Sure, I'll go. Give us a hand here, will you? What do you got? Half a dozen sacks of the local free wall. Okay, coming down. Stand by. Keep out of sight, like I told you. As soon as we get the door up to Phil's office, I'll tip you off. About ten minutes later, you pull the stick out. Look, make it, make it look tough for me. Because if Phil thought I was in on this, he'd drill me cold. That guy ain't bulletproof, is he? No, but don't make any mistakes and take a crack at me. Just you do your stuff, Louie, and we'll do ours. Yeah, all right. Jesus, Noy, this is a June grind. Yeah, the dirty devil crosser.
Sweetheart, I was just playing a little uh, sketch for Sadie. You're a fast liar, Phil. Honestly, look, he was just showing me a gag that's going in the new number. I saw the workout. Now you get out. Oh, now listen, honey. There is nothing to get all steamed up about. Well, I'm fed up. Sick of it all. Oh, you know you don't mean that. No, well, I'm quitting Saturday. No, you're not quitting. We are going on our vacation Saturday. I'm through. No, you just think you are. Keep your hands off me. <laughs> You're jealous, huh? I love it. I'll go around up, Phil. You help me get the stuff up to the office. What do you think I am, a gray?
hang around. Rat. Drop it. Face the wall and keep your hands up. I'm quitting. Walking out on you. You are not through with me. And you are not walking out on me. Say, are you kidding me? I was never more serious. Then I want to tell you something. I'm not interested. Oh, yes, you are, sweetheart. No one can double-cross me and get away with it. You would say something like that? Yes, I would. If you want to leave this floating joint, okay. But you're leaving with me. Here I am. I'm free. How'd you get in there? Well, I... Oh, excuse me. I, I, I must have fallen asleep. What was he doing here with you? Hey, what are you insinuating anyway? It, it, it's all right. It's all right. I'll, I'll fix him. Trying to put something over on me, weren't you? Well, I'll fix him. Don't, Phil. Don't. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's drunk. Please get out of here. Please go. All right. Who is it? He's fast, Bill. Open the door. What do you want? Connie's on board. Looks like a stick-up. They just got Jerry. Where's the money? It's in the safe. I'll be right up. Okay. No, forget it, honey. I am wrong. I just lost my head. I'll be back in a minute and we'll have a heart to heart talk, huh? to do, start to panic, but maybe the guy is dying. You seem to be in an awful sweat about it. I'll tip them off in the game room, but those guys... What guy? Why, Carmen. And whoever's with him. Oh. It's Pat. Yes, sir. What did Jerry say? He just crashed in and said Connie was on board. Did he mention anybody else? No. How did you know anybody was with Connie? Conley had never put a stick up alone, would he? Maybe not. Well, what are you writing me for? You seem to be kind of nervous. What kind of a crack is that? You're not afraid of a little lead, are you? That isn't funny. Okay, Louis, forget it. I'm sorry. Now listen, boys. We are honest American citizens running a legitimate business. We are entitled to protect ourselves. Is that right, Louis? Yeah, that's right. Open the safe. Have you gone nuts? Conley's liable to be here any minute. You know a lot about Conley, don't you? It's gone. Say... I'll do the talking. Well? I... I don't... Where is it? Under that desk. Get it, Pat. Put it in the safe. 
So you were trading with Connolly. Sold me out. Well, what are you going to do? Do. Jeez, Phil. Don't. Go ahead. Wine. What'll we do with them? Into the next cabin. Jerry, too. Hello, 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 hello. Get yourself off this ship before something happens to you. All right, all right. We'll leave together. Come on, I, I got a boat waiting. Oh, you must be crazy. Sure I am. I'm, I'm crazy about you. I'm in a hurry. Come on, let, let, let's get married, huh? Married? Sure, sure, why not? Well, you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, so, so you, you, you think I'm drunk, don't you? But you don't know anything about me. I know all I want to know, and that, that's enough. What about your family? <laughs> my, my family's in Europe. Let, let's fool them, huh? Yes, I will. Well, come on. Neil, can I borrow some here? Oh, pardon me. Goodbye, Maggie. Where are you going? To get married. Yeah, now, now I'm going to be my own best man. <laughs> Champagne. You know, some people never know enough to stop drinking. Ask your man to hurry, will you? Hey! Hey, Tompkin! Well, hurry up, will you? Friendly little visit. Friendly if you don't get smart. You picked the wrong time. Nothing but pikers tonight. Yeah. Go ahead and open the safe. Nothing in it. I'll have to phone the game room if you're in a hurry. Who's in the cage? Julian's pet. Told him to bring the dough up here. And be careful what you say. All right.
Flanagan to see you, madam. Flanagan? Miss Margaret Flanagan. Oh. Oh. Maggie. Touchy. Oh. oh. Gee, I'm glad to see you. Oh. Yep, you're a lady. <laughs> I always said the torching on that raft wasn't up your alley. I can't help it, dearie. I walked out here from the station and my dogs are singing the holy bow-wows. <coughs> Shall I dismiss the car, madam? No. Send the car to the station for Miss Flanagan's luggage. Yes. Uh, this is Miss Flanagan, Roberts, an old friend of mine. How do you do? And how's your grandmother? I beg your pardon? Skip it. I beg your pardon? Just plain old skip it. Uh, that will be all, Robert. Yes. Well, did you see the look he gave me? You should see some of the looks he gives me. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. I suppose everything you do is wrong. Practically everything. But I'm learning. For instance, one should not remove one's shoe in the reception hall. <laughs> and for instance, five a day on the subway circuit will make one not give a damn, for instance. <laughs> so that's what you've been doing. Yes, dear. And how? Oh, boy, what a life. Just colossal. <laughs> oh, this is so soft. <laughs> Maggie, when did you leave the ship? The night you left. Why, what happened? Well, uh, yes and no. It seems there was a little shooting that busted up the show. For after it was all over, Spats closed the hatches and threw everybody out. He said Phil was giving up the ship. You didn't see Phil? Why should I want to see that tin horn? Then you don't know where he is. I don't care where he is. I wish I knew. Now, why worry about him? Well, he said I couldn't get away with it. But you did, haven't you? I wonder. Oh, well, he's there and you're here. Now, skip it and tell me the dirt. Where's money bags? Meaning Ted. Now, who else would I mean? He's out. Alcoholically speaking? Yes. He's drunk nearly all the time. How much you going to nudge him for? A million? <laughs> well, I hadn't thought about it. Well, that's why you married him, ain't it? Yeah, it would seem that way, wouldn't it? <laughs> and what a way. Well, the longer you stick, the more you're entitled to. Oh. Well, dearie, where do I park the young thing? I'll put you in the blue room. The blue room? Mm -hmm. I'd feel much more at home in the gold room. The gold room, dearie. <laughs> Get me? <laughs> Sounds like Ted. Where, 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 where is she? In there. Oh, oh there you are. 
you are, baby. Hey, what, 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 what's the matter, huh? What's the matter? Uh, oh, 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 horse face says, sure. I, 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 don't, I don't see where you're hurt. Ted, you promised me you wouldn't drink tonight. Oh, what's a promise between pals? Don't take any more, please. You know what it does to you. Listen, let, let's, let's drink and be merry. It, it's, uh, it's our anniversary. Yeah, and I'm, I'm going to get drunk and drunk. Sure, that's an idea. We'll join you. What, in, in there? Sure, it brings the drink in and even in the bathroom. Oh, that's old bathroom philosophy, old horse yeah. face. <laughs> <laughs> Maggie, he'll be mad. Let me out of here. Mad, he's furious. Let me out of here, I'll bust the door down. Let me out of here, I tell you. All right, all right. What's the idea of locking me in? You can't have any more tonight, Oh, who said so? I do. Listen, I'm going to drink all I want and nobody's going to stop me. Get out of my way or I'll break your neck. Listen to me, please, Ted. You're killing yourself. All right, I'll kill myself. And I'll kill you, too. Come on, Teddy boy. Who are you? Now, now don't tell me you've forgotten old horse face. Oh, oh hello, old horse face. <laughs> yeah, you, you're a good old scout. You like me, huh? <laughs> sure, sure. Hey, you, you like me, too, huh? Just crazy about <laughs> you. <laughs> Let, let's play rough. <laughs> okay, baby. <laughs> I'll light it for you, dear. Thanks. You know, last night sticks with me just like a crazy nightmare. When I'm when I'm that way, I I, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I'm sorry. On the level I am, I wouldn't hurt you. You know that. I know you wouldn't. I was just crazy, out of my mind. Well, then now would be a good time to stop. You've proven you can twice. Think what it would mean, Ted. Oh, I want to. I've tried to, but I, I just can't. I know you can, and you must. You can't keep up where you're going. It'll get you just one place, and that's the grave. Big pardon. What is it, Roberts? Your aunt and uncle are in the drawing room, sir. Oh. Tell them I'll be down in a moment. Very good, sir. Better go in alone. Yeah. Listen. Nothing they say will make any difference as far as we're concerned. All this girl wants is your money. And to save you, you young fool, we're willing to buy her off. Oh, so you're willing to buy her off? She's got this consent to an annulment. And what makes you think that? They always do. You shut up. Listen to me, you young idiot. You married far beneath you. A torch singer from a gambling ship. A person unfit to carry on the Rendon tradition. It's perfectly obvious, my boy. This girl wants only your money. Well, she can have it. And anything else I've got, too. Oh, no, she can't. We control your money. 
and we'll never relinquish our trusteeship so long as she's your wife. I suppose she told you who she was and what she was before you married her. I didn't ask her. She tried to and I wouldn't listen. I don't want to hear anything now. Well, you're going to. Give me that report. Did you ever hear of Phil Carida? I know all about her. You know that she lived with him before she married you? Without benefit of clergy? Do you want a woman of her character to be smushed the random ancestry? A line that comes down through history? To a lot of drunken rockers. Look at me, I'm a random. Am I anything to be proud of? No. No, I'm a drunkard. And my father was one and your father was one. <laughs> a random ancestry. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, don't I? Well, let me tell you this. I don't care what my wife was. That's all over with. But I do know this much. She's the only one who ever really tried to make something out of me. Did you? No. You beat it off to Europe when I got to be too much for you. You ran out on me. Well, she hasn't. She stuck by me and I'll stick by her. Oh, you're mad. Don't I know it. I know the taint that runs through this family. Ha! My grandfather died in an insane asylum. Yeah, and I'll end there too. That's why I drink all the time to forget it. That's all I can ever think about, going crazy. Now you get out. Get out. Get out of here, do you hear me? Get out, all of you. It's all that woman's fault. She put you up to it. Get out of my house. me through the keyhole into the intimate lives of the people you hear about, read about, and talk about. What local playboy resumed his endurance jag two days ago when what irate uncle and aunt dug up what beautiful torch singers passed? And what radiant little blonde is helping him to forget and forget and forget? You can see them any evening at a certain level and how he does. Go early, ladies and gentlemen, and avoid the Christ. Where does it hurt you, dearie? Listen, Angel. You're letting a soft heart interfere with business. Oh, poor kid. Oh, skip it. You know, he's left you flat like that guy in the movies tonight. And that spells desertion with capital dollar marks. Golden dollars. Gee, that'd make a swell movie title, wouldn't it? Desertion, divorce, alimony. I can see the jury now, weeping as they look at you sitting in the witness chair, dressed all in black. Plain black torture, with a touch of white for purity, and just enough color in your face to make you beautiful and tragic. Like Camille. Gee, that's an idea. You can develop a cough. I 
give him a stomach pump won't cure. Find Roberts and tell him to phone for a doctor. I'll let him sleep it off. Please do as I tell you, Mary. All right, dearie. All right. All right. All we need now is a police raid to make me feel right at home. I am finishing my business here tonight. Here, have the motor running. Enjoying yourselves? Oh, but that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Get away from me, I tell you. Give me that gun, please.
And you phoned for the doctor? I told Frozen Face to do it. And who might Frozen Face be? The butler. Did you return to the room immediately? No, my dog said I couldn't. I'm I... not interested in your feet, Miss Flanagan. Well, let it pass. Will you please answer my question? Sure, what was it? Did you return to the room immediately? No. My dogs ached and I stopped to rub them. They cramp when I get excited. Then you were excited. Why? Why not? I'll tell you why. You knew when she sent you out of the room that she was going to kill him. Was you there, Charlie? Charlie? I'll skip it. What? Just plain old skip it. How much did Mrs. Rendon expect to get out of this marriage? It was worth at least five million bucks, in my opinion. I'm not asking your opinion. How much did she expect to get? What do you think, Charlie? I'll see Mrs. Rendon. That'll be all, Mrs. Flaherty. Flanagan. Miss Margaret Flanagan to you, Stooge. And to you, too, you old futz. Don't tell them anything, dearie. Make them guess. Will you be seated, uh, Mrs. Rendon? How long did you know Ted Rendon before you married him? A few weeks. Was he sober at the time? Well, he said he knew what he was doing. That isn't answering my question. He was not sober. You knew who he was? Yes. You knew that he would inherit many millions? Yes. And of course, that's why you married. Did your husband know of your uh, relations with Phil Carida? Yes. You told him? Uh, I tried to tell him, but he said he knew all about it. Mr. Rendon's guests state that you forced him to leave them and go to your room. Yes. For what purpose? Well, he was drunk. I have affidavits which prove that he was sober. But they're not true. After getting your husband to your room, you sent that uh, Miss Flanagan to phone for a doctor? Yes. And you locked the doors when she left the room? No. And the guests say the doors were locked. They had to break in. How do you explain that? Well, I, I can't. Then you did lock those doors. No, no, I didn't. and brought to you through the courtesy of the Evening Star. We now return you to Countess Theodosia Andraslavska, who will resume her intimate glimpses of the Rendon murder trial. Hello, everybody. Before I forget it, I simply must tell you about her hat. It was something like a turban, but yet not a turban. Now, was it a beret? It was a, now, let me see, what would I call it? Dear, dear, there I go again. But one could see that the whole thing was thought out with the idea of impressing the jury. That's why I'm telling you about it. But it didn't work this time. The evidence was so overwhelmingly against her that I don't see how any jury could do anything else but find her guilty. Chair for her, all right. Yeah. She'll burn. Oh, she saved you a lot of trouble by bumping him off. Yeah. I wonder why she did it. Women are funny that way. Want me to mix you one? What? Yeah, stiff one. It was like you were there for contract. One could easily see it was a French model, and a very expensive one, too. But there they are. I must get on with the trial. The poor dear, she looks so wan and haggard. I felt so sorry for her. I could have cried right on the spot in spite of the fact that she must be guilty. Have you reached a verdict, ladies and gentlemen of the jury? We have, Your Honor. The 
prisoner will rise. The jury will look upon the prisoner. The prisoner will look upon the jury. Proceed. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of murder in the first degree. <laughs> to kill me. That's just what it was, Maggie and I. He did that so they believed what he said. Well, he sure made it stick. You're on, dearie. Oh. 